Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 doo. Subscribe if you're interested. You know what? I have just developed a cold again. One of my daughters has caught another cold, and this is like the third cold this house has had since like some point in September. Three. I didn't even know you could get colds like that. There was a time, like our second cold, between our second cold and this cold, we probably only had two days of all of us being healthy. And luckily those days were Halloween and Halloween Eve. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, if you hear it in my voice, that's what's going on. Um, in the next today and the next coming days. I'm, it's only going to get worse because today is kind of my the first real day it's hit me. Okay, all of that to say, let's do a random ranking. Let's go to my movie collection behind me, pick out three movies at random, and then rank those movies from most favorite to least favorite. Um, if you'd like to participate as well, please do so in the comments. Uh, we got to make sure I've seen these movies. That... Oh, I dropped something. See these movies that I'm pulling from? Because if I haven't, you know what? I'll just use that one that fell. I need to replace it with ones that I have. <coughs> okay. Uh, did I finish this? I can't remember if I watched this or not. I don't know. Prince of Persia, did I watch? I don't think I watched that. Uh, I don't think I watched that. Okay, I gotta get two more. Did I finish my thought? What was I talking about? How I need to... Yeah, if, I've, if I haven't seen the movie, I gotta pull one that I have. There we go. Ah, I haven't watched this either. Casino Royale, the original. So, let's pick from over here. Oh, what is this? You know, okay, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, seen it. Okay. Ugh, ugh. Here we go. Um, okay, here we go. Got it. So, first we start with the best exotic marigold hotel. Uh, this is good. I, I love um, uh, Bill Nye and his wife. The actress, I don't know her name. But Bill Nye and his wife, I like, that's her right there. Um, I like watching them just because, like, um, they are a couple and she's, like, nagging them the whole time they're there. I think uh, she's just, like, nonstop and he's just, you know, kind of a meek person and he's, like, taking it. And then, um, at the end... Ah oh, man, I don't know. Should I give it away? I don't know. I just like watching their relationship unfold. I have like some friends who've. And this was always weird. My parents got divorced when I was very young, right? Like I barely have memories of them married that young. But I have some friends whose parents are just now. Like I'm in, you know, my 30s. Friends whose parents are just getting divorced now, and it's like they waited till the the kids were grown and maybe tried to work it out. I guess. And then it's just like, oh, this is weird. <laughs> you know, in my mind, you get divorced when you're young. But some people do when they're older. And sorry for the spoilers, but that's sort of what's going on here. An older one. And I just thought that was so bizarre when I was watching that movie. And now I'm seeing it happen with some of my friends and their parents. It's just very bizarre, very odd and something unexpected. Because in my world, in the friends that I was closest to, you know, we all... We all had divorced parents when we were very young, like uh, babies, toddlers, and, you know, like like five and under, that sort of thing. So, anyway, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I like the relationships in this movie. It's very fun to watch. And I, there's a sequel that I have not watched yet. Okay, next. We have T2. Uh, love T2. Look at that. You can't even see the thing. It's so so reflective. So reflective. Uh, love T2 as a kid. Um, I still love it today, but I think uh, I prefer the original Terminator now more that I'm than now that I am older. Um, this one's just a little too silly. 
um, um, where the original one is more serious. Um, not saying that all movies have to be serious, but I just like that quality within it. And it's like a horror film, and I just like the practical effects a lot. Like, this was cool at the time, all the CG, but now I appreciate more the practical effects in this movie. But uh, AJ's Movie Place, uh, give him uh, a look and, and follow, and look for his video on how he could have fixed this movie. He has a series where he's like, I could have, I'm, I'm probably... Um, getting the title of this series wrong, but he takes these movies and uh, takes a look at them and then finds ways that they could have been improved. So T2, he takes a look at that. You know what, I'll just put it in the comments. Put his channel and the video, his video in the comments. Check it out. It's pretty interesting. Um, I feel like I agree with him a lot on a lot of the things, or uh, I think there was one thing where I was like, I, I see what you're saying, but maybe it could have been adjusted this way um but yeah it's a really fun video that he made on this because this movie i feel like this movie has only gone down in favor it's still like a a, a favorite and a classic and people love it but i feel like as time has gone on people have come to see that the first one might be the better one because this one's kind of a kid's movie i was a kid when i watched it and i loved it but as an adult it's, it feels like a kid's movie i can't I can't believe I'm getting sick again. Next, we have Groundhog Day. Some people call it Groundhog's Day. Listen for that. Some people call it Groundhog's Day. Um, actually, Ned Ryerson, Stephen Tobolowski, that actor, I think he calls it Groundhog's Day. A lot of people do that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, anyway, Bill Murray is great in this. Um, uh... I almost called her Ali Sheedy. Andy McDowell is good in this. Oh, here's something I wanted to mention the other day. Um, Chris, what's his name? Chris um, Elliot. Chris Elliot. I watched Manhunter the other day. That that like original Red Dragon Hannibal movie, and he was in it. He was barely in it. He's not being funny or anything, but he's he's in it and he's barely in it. And I forgot to mention that in my video. Anyway, really love this movie. Um, I love what it's trying to say, you know, um, in terms of becoming a better person, finding perfection, all of that. Um, and, yeah, I, I don't know. Bill Murray's very funny in it. I like his humor in it. Uh, I like the, the town. It was filmed here in Illinois, even though it takes place in Pennsylvania. Um, but, yeah, uh, Egon Spangler directed it, and it's just great. So, directed by Ghostbuster and stars of Ghostbuster. How are we ranking them? You know what? I think this is my ranking right here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go... You know what? I'm going to get rid of this thing. This thing is just causing so much glare. Here we go. This is my ranking right here. Nope. Yep. I'm going to go Groundhog Day. Um, I just... I, I, I love that movie. I can watch it all the time. I can, I, which is funny. I think it would be... I think on Groundhog Day, one of the channels plays Groundhog Day over and over again, which is just a lot of fun because, you know, it's about living the same day over and over again, but then to have it being played on Groundhog Day over and over again is pretty hilarious. But this is my ranking. Groundhog Day. How does this movie translate in other countries? All my friends that do not live in the U.S., how does this translate? Do you, do you have a Groundhog Day? I don't think you do. I think it's... I think it... I think this is just, this is an American holiday day, right? <laughs> I think it is. Uh, but so what? what is it like watching this movie? Did they even market it to you? Did this movie come out if you are not an American? Okay, um, Groundhog Day, then Terminator 2, Judgment Day, and then The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. That is my ranking. My question to you is, have you seen these movies? And if so, how do you feel about them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.